Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. If you are planning to take the Praxis Core Math Test, Course 5733, then I can help you review some topics. Today I'm going to walk you through three problems. Let's get started. All right, here's our first problem. During the last year, downtown realtors sold 72 single family homes. The pictograph shows the number of homes sold by each realtor. Noted in the question is that each half icon represents half of the number of houses represented by the full icon. The problem we need to solve is how many homes does each icon represent? So in order to do this, we need to add up all of the icons for each of the realtors. So let's get going. Juan sold four and a half. Lila, six. Maria, one and a half. Hema, one. And George, five. We add them all together and we get 18. Now we know the number of actual houses sold was 72. So we divide that by the 18 and we get four. So now we know what the answer is, what the icon represents, and we can circle that number on our exam paper. In our second question, we are asked to find the range of all integers greater than 10 and less than 50, but that are multiples of four. Finding a range of integers is fairly straightforward. We take the low number, the subtrahend, and subtract it from the high number, the minuend. In this case, we are asked exclusively for the range of numbers that are multiples of four that fall between the numbers 10 and 50. Multiples of four are numbers that are divisible by four. And a simple way to determine this is by skip counting. So in this example, the first multiple of four after 10 is 12. Then we have 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48 is the last one before 50. As such, we take the minuend, 48, we subtract the subtrahend, 12, and we are left with the difference of 36. So we can now answer the question. It is A, 36. In our final question, we are asked for the median number of sweaters that Allegra sold in the previous year. The median number is the middle number, found by ordering all data points and determining the one in the middle. In the case of two middle numbers, we take the mean of those two numbers, or the average, which is found by adding the two together and then dividing them by two. In this case, we have a data set of 12 numbers and we have to order them, as I've done here. And in order to find the middle number, we will strike them off side to side until we get there. One, 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 one. Like that. So in this case, we have two, five and six, which we add together. And the sum is 11. We take the 11 and we divide it by two. And our quotient is 5.5. So now that we've reviewed three math problems, I hope that it has helped answer your questions. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on testing. Bye for now.